Welcome to Cam Streamer Talks. In this video, I will show you how to start streaming on a Facebook with Cam Streamer and Access Communication IP camera. My name is Pavel Kotiza and I am BDM of Cam Streamer Company, the developer of Cam Streamer app. First of all, if you want to start stream, you need a IP camera from Access Communication and you need to download our app from our website. So let's go on our website. Hit the try it button, get free trial. You can enter your email address, check that you agree to the terms and get your trial license code in email. Meanwhile, you can download the file of the CanStreamer app relevant to your camera. In this case, I will use Q3515. So as you can see, it's supporting, it's supporting all of our apps. So let's down CamStreamer. CamStreamer is downloaded. Before you will install CamStreamer app on your camera, please check Access website for the latest firmware available and update to the latest firmware. I have already updated my camera so I can log in to my Axis Q3515. Now I'm logged in my camera. I will select Apps tab and hit Add. I will select the installation file. Please avoid selecting the files with these brackets and spaces or rename the file so it will not contain brackets and spaces. And let's install the file. While uh, the application installed on your access camera, please try to think if you want to stream on your profile, do you want to stream on your Facebook page or do you want to stream on your Facebook group? All these features are available in Can Streamer. Today, I will show you how to stream on your profile. Can Streamer app is installed. It's here. Let's turn it on. App is on so we can log in directly to the app. And there is a couple features available right now how to continue. You may start your free trial if you are new. You can enter your license code if you obtain one before or you can you can buy the full license directly. So Let's start my trial version or I can enter my license code, which I received. Uh, let's start a trial version. I need to enter the email again and I can use the license code I just received in the email. License code was accepted, so the camera is ready to stream. Now we will set up a stream to a Facebook. So start with selecting which URL of the camera you want to use. And then we will start Facebook manual stream. There are some limitations on a Facebook, like uh, the maximum resolution is 720. The broadcasting may be maximum uh, eight hours if you wanna keep the recording and we provide the other features. So now, how to start with the streaming of Facebook? You need to log into your Facebook. So I'm logged in. And then you can title somehow the camera. So Cam Streamer Talks Facebook Live Stream Demo. You can use the variables such as day, date, US, so you can add, for example, date, US. Now you can choose if you want to stream on your timeline as a, as a personal profile, Facebook profile, or if you want to stream on a pages you are administrator of. I, I said it, I will start streaming on my profile. How do you want your stream to be available? Is it public or your friends only or just me? So let's try just me in this case. In advanced options, you can put some descriptions. This is a description.
caption text. You may select if you want to save the recordings or not. Then what's the resolution? As I said, Facebook is supporting maximum 720. So let's put 720. You might play with the audio if you want to use the no audio at all, microphone or internal microphone or line in or any audio file or external audio, including uh, access audio bridge. So let's put silence or none save. So there will be no audio. And we are actually done. As you start and stop streams, there will be new URL generated. But if you want to keep or if you want to share the URL with the people so they will have access always to the current live video, use our cam streamer permanent link so I can copy it. So let's save the settings to the camera. And let's start the stream. So it will take some time before it's all connected, all sorted out. It's proximate on a Facebook. It's approximately 60 seconds. Uh, you will be notified when you will go live. So you can easily, I can try to use that permanent link. I just copied so we can leave it over there. If the stream is connecting or not. And it will take some time. With uh, Cam Streamer, you can set up live streams like continuous live stream you may set up a now you can see a scheduled or recurrent stream so now you can see that we are live live on the facebook with the demo with the dynamically added date this is the description text and that's actually it so as you can see in just seven minutes we start from we start from uh, installing to live stream on a Facebook. Yes, I am live. It's live is the date here. So I can stop the stream. Let's refresh it. I will not you will not be able when you set up the, uh, the rights to only me, then you will not be able to set up to see the view. If you will make a streaming public, you will be able to see a preview as well. But in general, my stream is live. You can pause it or you can stop it. If you stop it, there will be a new URL generated. If you pause it, the stream will continue. So let's stop the stream. And that's it. That's the way how you can easily start your live streaming on a Facebook using Axis IP Axis Communications IP cameras and our cam streamer app, which is an app you just upload to camera. That's all for today's video. I'll be more than happy if you will subscribe to our cam streamer talks where I'm introducing all the features and tips and tricks for using our apps. And thank you very much for watching. Definitely try our 30 day trial on our website. So just visit camstreamer.com and download your trial license. And I'll see you on the next videos. My name is Pavel Kotiza and I am BDM of Camp Streamer Company. And if you have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to reach us on support at campstreamer.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.